hello it's Bailey and welcome back to my channel it is time to spin for my May five star picks my TBR wherein I spin this spinner wheel that has half uh, of my friends on booktube and half just creators that I love to watch on booktube and I spin the wheel and throughout the month I read everything they rate five stars last month I read Rylan from Reading with Rylan's five star books. I will go ahead and link that in the cards here as well as I should probably finally create like a playlist. So I will link the uh, playlist down below but other than that I'm just here to spin so let's get into it. All right I've got my spinner up and here I go. This makes me nervous every month. Oh okay. <laughs> This is an interesting one. I got Ruby from Ruby Red, which again is a very close friend of mine here on booktube. I've gotten friends three months in a row now, so I'm bound to get just like some bigger creators that I watch soon. Uh, but Ruby reads very differently than me. When I think of Ruby and what she reads, I do think she reads a lot of like a lot more nonfiction than I read, as well as a lot of like naturey things and just more like smart books than I read. Um, so I'm curious what she's got on her radar this month. I'll have to keep an eye out for her TBR. I don't think she's posted her Tic Tac TBR yet as of me filming this. So very interesting. Also, if you don't watch her Tic Tac TBR every single month, I comment in the comments of her video, uh, like the books that I'm planning on reading that would fit on her Tic Tac TBR board. So it's a fun time, but I will be keeping an eye on Ruby in the month of May. It's Bailey in July, which is obviously much farther than May, which this video was for. So I'm coming in to kind of piece this video together. So first I am going to show you the clips of me reading Ruby's five star book. She ended up having one five star book for the month. So here are the vlog clips of when I was reading it. All right, I did not do a good job this month on vlogging throughout the month once again but we are into June and Ruby did rate one book five stars in the month of May and that was the book of form and emptiness by Ruth Ozeki. This is not a book I had heard about but I am about 50 pages into it now and I have high hopes. Uh, I was a little bit worried about the writing style to start because I would categorize this as a little bit uh like pretty which is usually not necessarily a descriptor that I enjoy in writing. I like pretty blunt mundane writing generally uh, but I do think that this one is going to end up working for me. It's also interesting because it is written in second person in some parts and my understanding is that this is mostly like a coming of age story. I know that our main character Benny uh, is dealing with the loss of his father. We're also following his mother but I know at this point he is 14 and you can just tell that there's like trouble in the family but I have no idea where the story is going to end up going. Um, I'm here to state that I am mostly just thankful that I don't have to read the bat book because Ruby only gave it four stars. Ruby rated a book about bats earlier this month and the whole review was bats equal love. The anxiety I had when I saw that that's what she read. <laughs> and well, I'm happy for her that she loved it. I don't think it would have been for me. I'm almost thinking that she would have loved for me to read that because maybe it would change my mind. Maybe she's like, Bailey, trust me, you would love the bats. But I just, I don't think I had it in me. <laughs> Hello, I've just made it to a third of the way through the Book of Form and Emptiness. And I wanna start with my complaints, which are mostly just that I am reading this so slow, which I never have a fun time doing. I'm reading this at about 40 pages an hour, so it's taken me quite a long time and it's also a really long book, which I think puts it out of my comfort zone in terms of something I probably never would have picked up otherwise. I just, I don't think anything needs to be that long, especially this is more of like a contemporary story. It just feels excessively long. Usually the amount of time I've already invested into this, I would have read a whole book and I'm only a third of the way in, but I am really enjoying the story. It is an interesting, it is like a book within a book, which I know Ruby, uh, that's like one of her things that she loves in books. 
but we're also discovering more through the story that I definitely think that Benny is on the spectrum. He's getting treated, uh, but nobody can seem to like identify what he's actually going through when he explains uh, what's happening to him. He's kind of getting like gaslighted a little bit and people are just trying to make assumptions that he's like, no, that's not how I'm feeling. Uh, but he's definitely having a lot of like overstimulation with colors and like he hears sounds. So I'm interested to see where the story in general is going. I just feel like it's a lot of like character development and background information at this point. Uh, we're also kind of learning that his mom to me is very scatterbrained. I'm wondering if it's gonna be a discussion about like his symptoms being hereditary, I'm not sure. But a lot of his mom's actions seem pretty triggering to him. So yeah, overall I'm enjoying the story, but I am just kind of feeling like it's a slog because it's so long and so slow. Um, I'm hoping the next section hopefully picks up a little bit more in plot. And so that brings us to today, which is actually July 4th, and I have decided to DNF The Book of Form and Emptiness by Ruth Ozeki. I had continued to try to read this like a chapter at a time and I know in the last clip I had stated that I hoped that the plot was going to pick up and while a little bit more was happening with the plot I wasn't enjoying it and I think at this point I've been reading it for over a month and it's time for me to just say I'm not gonna finish it. Truthfully, maybe I should have read the Bat book. <laughs> but in that vein, I did just kind of want to reflect on this series so far because I've actually DNF'd every single book for the series three out of the five months. May was my fifth month doing it and I had already decided that I wasn't going to do five star picks my TBR in June. So there is no five star picks my TBR for June, but in July, I'm ready to jump back into it. I'm ready to spin to get another person. So I wanted to reflect on the series a little bit so far. I guess firstly, going back to what my intention for this series was, is that it was something to get me out of my comfort zone in reading and trying things I maybe wouldn't and hopefully discovering new favorite things that I thought I would never like. Um, but in execution, it is really hard with the concept of reading your friend's favorite things, but also I'm just not someone who's going to make myself finish something that I'm not enjoying. I will DNF. Um, it does just make me feel a little sour expressing not liking stuff that my friends have loved and I don't exactly know a solution for that so I guess I would just like to know um, if you guys are still enjoying this regardless of my journey and how I'm enjoying the books or if I'm finishing them or not uh, but yeah I did want to now just kind of discuss the last five months and what I've read and kind of who has had the best recommendations for me so far. So I'm going to re-discuss these in order of the average star rating I gave each person's books. So technically my most successful month has been Adriana from Carbon Bonded Books in February. She had one five star book and it was The Love Hypothesis by Allie Hazelwood and I gave that book four and a half stars. So Adriana is currently holding the top place for best recommended book. Uh, but in second place and the only other month I actually finished books was Martine by Just Martine in March. And that was the month that I read the most books for my five star picks my tbr challenge uh i read three books that month which were under the banner of heaven here's to us and five feet apart and i gave each of those books three stars making her average star rating three stars but i would debate that being the best month because i finished all three things and i thought all three things were decent books so there was more of a pool to choose from there. It is raining really hard and like lightning thundering a little so I'm hoping that I'm able to edit that out and that you can't hear it too much but if you can I'm sorry. Uh, but to go back to my DNF months uh, I started in January with Sid from Sid Bookworm and I DNF'd The Sword of Kaigen and Ninth House so I I attempted two books that month. In April, I also attempted two books when I read Rylan from Reading with Rylan's five star books. I DNF'd I Am Margaret Moore and Call Me Daddy. 
And then now here in the month of May, uh, I DNF one book and that was the book of form and emptiness. I will say I read the most pages before DNFing of the book of form and emptiness. I really wanted to try this one and finish it. And I still think it's something in the end that would have a message that would resonate with me. Ruby, if you're watching this, I definitely am gonna message you cause I do kind of want you to spoil it for me. But I was just back on that. It was longer than necessary. It's not a pace and length that I was enjoying. So at the end of this video, I'll leave you with, I do have some ideas on how to give some of these people redemption or maybe solidify that maybe I shouldn't take their five star recommendations. Uh, but these people that I've read books from so far, this may not be the end of their journey. So stick around for the rest of this year while I continue the series. I am going to continue five star picks my TBR at least through the year of 2022. We'll see if um, I think that the series is being worthwhile at the end of this year. It, it is something in my mind that I wanted to do long term, but just seeing how it has played out through these first five months. I'm a little bit more apprehensive, but again, leave me maybe some encouraging comments down below or some advice. Do you think I should be pushing myself to finish all of these books? I don't know, let me know. But thank you so much for spending some time with me today and I will see you again very soon. Bye.